Hello, my name is Margaret Harris and this year I'm one of the postdoctoral fellows at the Center for Philosophy of Science at the University of Pittsburgh. My time here at the Center has been really great so far and I generally don't think I could have wished for a better place to do some philosophy. My research interests lie in epistemology and the philosophy of science with a special focus on modeling and uncertainty, robustness analysis and climate science and I'm also interested in foundational issues in the philosophy of statistics. The overarching aim of my research so far has been to improve our understanding of the challenges involved in the assessment and communication of uncertainty in areas of research deeply afflicted by it, and especially in areas where the research has immediate, immediate uh, policy implications, which makes the assessment and communication of that uncertainty at once more difficult and more important. In my research, I've investigated two different approaches to assess and communicate the uncertainty that attaches to scientific results concerning the global climate in particular. The first is known as robustness analysis, which is a common technique used in modeling where researchers examine how stable a result remains under various changes to the features of a model. As I discuss in my doctoral thesis, there is a great deal of disagreement and confusion in the philosophical and scientific literature when it comes to the epistemic input of robustness analysis. One line of research that I intend to pursue during my time here at the Centre is a natural continuation of one of the projects I started in my thesis to provide a much needed rigorous assessment of the most prominent arguments that have been offered to defend the epistemic input of robustness analysis and thereby shed light on the source of confusion and disagreement in the literature. My ultimate and hopefully not over ambitious uh, aim is to bring to an end the persistent disagreement in the literature on the epistemic input of robustness analysis. Since robustness arguments play a pretty central role in vouchsafing claims made in climate science, with a better understanding of the epistemic input of robustness, we would, we would be in a much better position to assess key claims coming up coming out of things like the IPCC report. And this would thus hopefully lead not only to better science, but better policy too. The second approach that I've investigated uh, in my research is the IPCC uncertainty framework. As I argue in my doctoral thesis, the current uncertainty framework faces some very important conceptual problems which have serious and worrying implications for both the practice of the IPCC authors in their treatment of uncertainties and the quality of the information provided in IPCC reports. Although several philosophers and scientists have offered strikingly different proposals for a new IPCC uncertainty framework, in my thesis I argue that they also all face their own set of serious conceptual problems. The fact that philosophers and scientists are persistently struggling to come up with a conceptually coherent uncertainty framework for the IPCC is, in my view, clear evidence that we're far from having mastered how to conceptualise uncertainty, especially in areas of research deeply afflicted by it and where the research has immediate policy implications. Although in my thesis I offer my own tentative proposal for a new IPCC uncertainty framework as an attempt to address the conceptual problems faced by the current framework and its rival proposals, I ultimately believe that what an adequate IPCC uncertainty framework that is not only conceptually coherent but that is also readily applicable and useful to the intended target audience might look like is anything but obvious. Hence, another line of research that I intend to pursue during my time here at the Centre is to continue to develop the proposal I began elaborating in my thesis. Over the course of my research, I've also become increasingly aware that many of the difficulties encountered in the assessment and conceptualization of uncertainty by institutions such as the IPCC are very much intertwined with foundational issues in statistics. And the more I learned about these issues and their importance in relation to science and epistemology, the more and more interested I became in the philosophy of statistics itself. Uh, although I think many people consider statistics as a pretty dry discipline, or at the very least, that's definitely how I saw statistics in my maths undergrad days, and hence try to avoid it as much as possible. Uh, it actually turns out that this isn't the case at all. 
there is in fact a lot of drama in the foundations of statistics and to these days there is considerable disagreement on both the interpretation and the role that probability should play in statistical inferences. Although I currently characterize myself as a severe tester, I intend to further pursue, uh, sorry, further investigate the implications of my position in relation to the philosophy of statistics, the philosophy of science and epistemology during my time here at the Centre and beyond.